In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the profile styles. Not the view styles, so not the way the graph, the grid looks, but the styles of the actual line itself. Now how we access this, you, we already know that we go through the settings tab. We look down, we find profile. We expand profile styles. And as we see here, I've got about 10 to 12 of them, different, different kinds of lines. In industry, when you are designing a profile, you may have to show various things inside of there. You'll definitely have to show your design ground and your existing ground. But another thing we have to worry about is where the bedrock is. Where is our bedrock line? How deep below ground before we hit bedrock? You might have to show a clay layer, gravel layer, sand, silt layers if you're doing any stratigraphy graphs. But generally, we don't show any of those four on a profile itself. But another thing we may show is our groundwater level. So having these all look different will definitely help you out. So my existing ground is the gray line here. Design ground is a solid cyan line. If I come into bedrock, I believe it is a dark or a light gray line. That is also dashed. Slightly different than my design line. And my groundwater level is a dashed blue line. So looking at these styles and kind of how to set them up. So if I just go into my design ground and I uh, double click on it or I right click edit it, I can right click copy it if I need to make another one. The very first tab we'll look at is your information tab. So we have our name, EDDT design ground. A description of it, who created it, when it was created. Curve tessellation, so how, how do you want to view the curves? Do we want any markers? Do we want to show a specific marker at a through point or a point of vertical intersection? So I have a PVI right here. Let's go and add a marker and see if that shows up. And I think, yeah, so something uh, showed up there. So we can add markers all over our profile and label it in a table instead of potentially on the, the profile itself. However, I find these just to clutter them up, but really it's all what works for you. So different markers we can add. Then we have the display tab. Our view direction, model, profile, or section. So model is if you view it in 3D. Profile is what we're looking at here. That's where all our options are. And then section, we mainly get a profile marker in our section. So taking a look at this, we can switch all these colors. Our lines would be our straight sections, our tangents. And if we switch those to green, just to show you what this does and how, how it looks, any circular curves, symmetric parabolas or asymmetrical parabolas, I have in the color cyan. So that would be our vertical curves. Do we want to add on arrows? So we'll turn those arrows on, we'll hit apply and we'll see what it does. Line extensions will be in here. So these are our line extensions. And here's our arrows showing, I'm guessing, the direction of travel. Yeah. Parabolic curve extensions, do we have any of those? And then warning symbols. So this is more if you turn on those tools to monitor your drawing and and conform to the design standards that are built within Civil 3D. I have seen a couple warning symbols come up on here. Mainly if you adjust your, your alignment and then your profile says, hey, just make sure I'm right. Or you adjust this, you adjust that. It just gives you a visual warning saying, hey, just check to make sure I'm still right. Oh, I didn't mean to hit okay. So back into profile or edit profile style. Under the summary tab, this just gives you a list of everything in the previous tab. So name, there's the name, tessellation distance. Do we have any markers? Profile marker and section view, you could turn that off. You can leave it on. Arrowhead size, how big do we want those arrows? And style. 
and whatnot. So a lot of, just a few very simple options there, not a lot of options on how to change the view of your profile. Now, if you change it to make, uh, so you can look at it and visualize things differently, always be sure to put it back. Don't leave things on and change because when you go to print it off, some of these lines will print thicker because if you left it green, green prints thicker than cyan, for example. So always make sure to put things back. So that was a quick look at profile styles.